This is Robert, and today I want to bring to you the current HDMI splitter that I'm using to build my karaoke systems. And I'll give this a shot, but it's MoveCell, and I'm sure it's an acronym for something, but I don't know what. So this is a one to four HDMI splitter that's 4K or 2K compatible at 30 Hertz. Now, usually these things are compatible down a little bit lower. It does say that it gives full 3D HD 1080p compatibility for PS4s and Blu-rays and stuff like that. But typically, the only thing that I use these for is to plug a laptop HDMI into and then split it among multiple screens. Normally, you'll want two screens, like one forward screen facing the audience and one backward screen facing the singer so that way they can look at the audience because everybody wants to be a star. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a series of pictures and first I want to show you the front and that is this control panel here and you'll see that with two monitors plugged in you'll see an in light and then two other lights noting which ones are plugged in. When I plug them in, I always space them out so it's easier for me to access. But if I were to plug in more than two monitors, I'd probably use the number three and keep it away from the input altogether. But these lights will light up when they're ready to use. Now, I haven't used the reset button, but I'm assuming it works. The unit did include this cord, but it did not include a HDMI power supply and you could easily plug this into the laptop. I never do that. If I'm building a stationary system, I'm usually using a power strip that includes a couple of USB plugins. If I'm not, then what I do is I grab one of my old cell phone chargers because it's a low wattage. You don't need anything particularly strong. And then you can just plug it in and then, of course, plug it into the wall and you're done or whatever you're using to power it. Again, with me, it's always a power strip. I'm gonna set this aside because it's got a barcode on it. And then I'll just demonstrate real quick here how easy it is to plug one of these HDMIs in. And just like that, you're done, no problems. Now, I'm gonna run one little clip here of kind of me panning around it so you can get a good look at it. That was how I just had it set up to do an outdoor summer party karaoke show. And it just sits on the bottom shelf where all my extra cords go and I can manage anything and I can just look right at it and know whether or not it's working. So that pretty much covers this. I've had good luck with this one. I have used other ones in the past and some of them have had to be replaced. Currently, I have four of these that are running right now and they are all working just fine. So check it out and see what you think. 